I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Today we're going to give you a couple of tips on how to get into your car if you've locked the keys in it. There's not a more sinking feeling than watching your car door slam shut with the keys in the ignition and the door locked. Once you're locked out of your car, you have a couple of options. You can have a spare key hidden in your wallet. You could call for a set of spare keys. You could have a hide a key somewhere in the car or a magnetic box with a key in it. Without any of those, we'll have to get, somehow get into the vehicle and unlock these doors. They sell a device, a wedge and a long rod. If we jam a wedge into the door post, being careful not to rip the window and door gasket. You want to get in there just right behind the gasket so you don't rip the gasket. And we can take a long pole, stick it inside the car, find our door lock, and then we can unlock the doors. Now once the doors are unlocked and this apparatus is stuck in the door, you're going to want to hang on to both of these devices as the door is going to pop open rather quickly because you've wedged it open. And that's how to get into your car if you lock the keys in it. The best solution is to have a spare key magnetically attached to the car somewhere or a key in your wallet. But if you must get in, pry the window frame open, reach in and unlock the power door locks. I'm Bob Holcomb from Apex Automotive in Great Barrington, Massachusetts.